Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday. March 29th, 2022, and as you wake up and you begin this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time to give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse number 2. We read, who bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ and all all things that he saw. Friends, we know that that John, the disciple John, uh, is the one who has recorded what we read in the book of Revelation. Uh, We know that he was in exile at the time and he was brought up to heaven to see the things which was going to take place at the end times. Um, going right up into the return of Jesus, the great way throne judgment, everything that we need to know about the end of the world as we know it. And John recorded these things in a book that we call the Revelation. And John is saying here in verse number two that he is the one that has bear, that is bearing record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus and of all things that he saw. John's saying, I've I've, I've I've seen this. I was an eyewitness to this, to these future events. And I bear record. I, I put my seal of approval on it. I put my stamp on it. I, I, I tell you that what I've written is my testimony and it's 100% true. You know, most most people won't believe something unless somebody is there to to be the eyewitness to what had happened. And it seems that an eyewitness to every event that takes place is somewhere out there. And John is saying, I am the eyewitness to these events that I've written here. I've written down here. So he's not only the eyewitness of the things that are coming, the things, the prophecies written in the book of Revelation, the things that are coming, but John is also the eyewitness to the things that are past. Go with me to John chapter 21 and verse number 24. We read this. This is the disciple which testifieth of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. John's talking about himself here. He says, I am the disciple. This is the disciple which testifieth of these things and wrote these things. In other words, John is saying, I am an eyewitness to the things which has been written in here, in his letter, in his book. I'm an eyewitness to these things, and you know that my testimony is true. You know that I'm not doubting. I'm not changing anything around. I'm not sugarcoating. I'm not changing. I'm not twisting it around. This is what happened, and this is what I wrote. And then we go down to verse 25. I like this verse. That's why I want us to include it here. He says, And there are also many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself cannot contain the books that should be written. Amen. John's saying Jesus did so many things that the world cannot contain all the books that should be written. But John wrote his book. And has testified that that what he has written there is true. And what he has written there is exactly what had happened and what took place. And John's testimony is true. We can trust it. We can believe it. Just like, just like we can trust his testimony to what he's seen in the future. In the book of Revelation, we can trust his testimony to what he's seen in the life and the journey of Jesus right through the death and his resurrection. Friends, if you are one of them people that don't believe anything unless you see it yourself or unless there's an eyewitness person to see it, 
John's the one you could look to because he saw not only what Jesus did, but he saw the things to come. Put your faith in Jesus today. Trust the testimony of John and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior before those things which, which are coming soon become present and you miss out on your opportunity. Get Jesus today. Accept his, his gift of salvation and make sure you're ready to go at the time of the rapture. Think about that as you go through this day and remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Thank you.